This is the busy King of Prussia Mall you know, but when the doors open again, it will likely look different. Simon, the mall's owner, preparing to open the doors to centers in other states this weekend with signs like these, marking changes at malls that will include hand sanitizing areas and limits on how many people can come in at a time. The play areas will be closed, so will stroller stations. Food court seating limited to encourage social distancing. In restrooms, you'll see every other sink taped off. The unknown is still what will it take to make customers comfortable to come back? I think a mall would be the last place I'd go back to. The answer isn't the same for everyone when it comes to reopening things. There's not too much to me that doesn't make me comfortable to go out. Um, I just think if you process the right things, wash your hands. What would it take for you to go to a mall? A vaccine or some kind of stable treatment. At least something that gives us some kind of hope. For malls, Simon also has instructions for employees. They'll be required to take their temperature at home and stay home if it's over 100.4. There will be temperature checks and health screenings as they arrive on site, and they will have to wear masks. Unlike what you're used to now, shoppers will also be encouraged to wear masks and take their own temperature before visiting. Are you expecting things to look a little different? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I also work at a restaurant, so I'm curious to see how that changes, but things are definitely going to be different. At the Simon Malls that start opening on Friday, there is another change, shortened hours to allow for more time for cleaning. In King of Prussia, I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News.